Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shut up, last. Hi, I'm Miriam. I'm the Afghan who cooks, and this is, of course, Afghan cooks. Tonight we are making gyopeza. It is a meat stew, and it literally translates into two onions. The way that my mom made this dish was always with lamb when she could get it. Honestly, this is my favorite, favorite Afghan meat. Dish. Other than my mom's turkey legs, she makes amazing turkey legs. I'm gonna have her come on and make turkey legs with all of us because they are fantastic. I don't have any lamb in the house right now. So one of the things I want you to understand is that this is a recipe, it's going to give you an outline. And I've seen this made with chicken. I've seen this made, of course, with lamb, with goat. Tonight we're gonna use beef. But what you want to use is a really bony, fatty piece of meat. So this is actually nihari meat and Afghans generally don't make nihari that I know of, but that's what this cut of meat was. I cut it up a little bit smaller um, so it could cook a little bit faster, but it's super tender already. It's a very, very, I, I want to say almost lamb-like cut of beef. It's not tough at all. For preparation, what I have here is I had chopped up about four large onions. You can use white onions, you can use red onions, whatever you have in your house, okay? And in here, I took about half of that and I put them in some white vinegar. Then here I have some split lentils. And you can see these are not yellow split lentils the way we normally have them, but this is what I had in the house. So good enough for me. My Instant Pot is heating up. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil to the bottom of my pot. And here is the other half of those onions. Now, jopeza means two onions. So it's onions two ways. It's onions that are pickled like this and then also within the actual dish itself. So we're gonna add these onions. And while we're waiting for our onions to just soften a little bit, not too much, I'm gonna take my split peas and put them into a pot, cover them with water and let them simmer until they are soft. So I'm gonna go do that. Now here I have three pretty good sized garlic cloves. I need to work out more. That was a lot of work. And now we add our meat. You know some people, they drink wine when they cook. Look at this baby, look at this. We drink tea. We're gonna add a few things to this. The first thing we're gonna do is add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of turmeric, some ground black pepper. And that's it for spices because this dish depends on the flavor of the meat and the onion and the vinegared onion. Trust me, you don't need any more spices. Here I have four cups of water. Pour that right over. And that's it. Now all we do is we cover it and I am going to set this for pressure cook beef for 30 minutes. Here we have some lentils. We have the lentils that are done. And then I'm going to spoon the lentils. Now for my favorite part, the pickled onions. These have been sitting in this vinegar for I think almost two hours now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, you're already here. Hit the bell notification so you know every time we have a new video and leave a comment. Tell me what's your favorite kind of stew. Until next time.